you can see it. So, I just decided to do this video in like a second ago because I leave on school tomorrow, which you guys will already know because I'm going to upload a vlog before this video. So that's why I'm at home and have on the same outfit, okay? But not here to hold you. Let's get right into the video. <laughs> Hello, if you're new to my channel, my name is Nigel, and welcome back to another video. 10 tips on how to start your YouTube channel, as in like what to use, what not to use, um, how to start, and being like yourself. Tip number one is apps I use. So I recently did a video on what's on my iPhone XR. You can go check that out because it's more in detail. And I also did like a kind of like a tutorial thing on them. So you can see all that. Like five to six apps I use. Um... I use Pick Mikey, Pick Collage, Filmmaker Pro, Canva, Eraser. <laughs> I use a lot of apps. Uh, iMovie. And yeah, that's basically it. With that being said, the apps that I use, they're very like, they are free. Like every app I use is free. I don't have time to be paying no money. <laughs> like, every app I use, it works just fine as a pro app that people just paying, like, money every month. No, boo-boo. Get your free app. Learn how to work with it. Adjust it to your liking. Post on YouTube. Boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Like, it's up. <laughs> but for real. Next is about camera and lighting. Okay, this is need to be said because as I started being a YouTuber, many people has asked me what camera I use, how I got great lighting, and all kind of stuff. Like, ooh. So the first thing I say is I use an iPhone, and they be like, what, girl, for real, you use an iPhone? And I reply, yes, it's iPhone. Some people feel like you should start YouTube with a $100 light, 5000 $5,000 camera like no you do not need all that to start your YouTube everyone starts from the bottom okay just know that right now I'm using the iPhone and right now I'm using a um like $20 like from Walmart you to start your YouTube channel so don't go out here running trying to tell your mama or or um asking your manager to put you on all week your 9 to 5 so you can get you a 5000 camera like no you have to saying like, I need this to start, or I need a camera to start, I need a special camera to start, I need this kind of line to start. Oh, they're not going to watch me because I have this and that. Like, no, just start. Use your light, your natural light. Use your iPhone. <laughs> um, Number three is, well, number three and four, they basically is the same thing, so I'm just going to put those together. Number three slash four, being humble and staying consistent. I only have like a little subscribers right now and little views. I'm very humble by that and I'm staying positive because I know eventually I'm going to be successful in YouTube and just go up. <laughs> but being humble, um, don't give up. Do not give up, okay, y'all? You're going to gain eventually. Um, stay consistent upload you some videos like two times a week or like um yeah you can even upload every day whatever you want to do just stay consistent because people love when people when they youtubers or their subscribers stay consistent they be like okay she really loved this she's passionate in this okay um i'm gonna subscribe to her because i see that she posts constant like yeah number five is thinking outside the box so it could be a video like in 1996 with some male or female walking with a, a egg and a plastic spoon you it's 2019 you can re recreate that video 
and walk with a silver spoon. <laughs> That's what I mean. Thinking outside the box. Be different. Be you. Okay? <laughs> if you want to walk with a silver spoon, it's just it's different. You thinking inside the box. You ain't doing what sis did in 1996. You doing what you want to do in 2019. Okay? Worse from that. And also with that is being like more creative or like do something no one else has done. Start your own trend. Number six is how to gain subscribers. So gain subscribers, you need to do like sub for sub, collab, network, highly requested videos, or even do trend videos. So sub for sub, you know, you come on this video and someone is going to say, okay, yes, let's do sub for sub. And some of you guys has been unsubscribing to people and that's very rude and disrespectful. Now why would you waste their time and yours with saying let's do self sub but you gonna unsubscribe? Like, no. Don't do them like that. If you know you're not gonna keep subscribing to that person, just don't even ask them to do self sub. Like you're basically using them. It's you getting them all hyped. Yes, I have one I gained one subscriber today and you now they now you're gone and you just Wasting their time. It, no, that's me. Like, so with sub for sub, I would say if we genuinely gonna like sub to them, I think you should really watch their videos first and then be like, oh, okay, yes, I can sub for sub this first because I like what she does or he does. So, yeah, that's a great tip about that. Collab, get some YouTube friends, start trusting them, become best friends, and be like, Okay, I think it's time for us to do some videos. So yeah, get that person. Do y'all a video, post it. There y'all go. Y'all went together, baby. Um, network, start talking to people, like talk to other YouTubers. You know, y'all get to being cool. There you go. Their people are gonna start joining to your account and your people are gonna start joining to their account. Do how to request the video. So like if your subscribers say, Can you do this video for me? Do it. Don't say no. Don't say you can't do it. Do it. That's what they want to watch. <laughs> um, Trina videos, um, like James Charles, he could be number one on the chart. You recreate his video. Boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. There you go. Um, Number seven. I think I'm on number seven. Number seven is... Oh, getting out your comfort zone. But being outside your comfort zone is being more open. Not like telling your business or anything. But being like, okay, this is me. You either going to deal with it or not. Okay? <laughs> Just get out your comfort zone. Be more happy. Be excited. Be positive. Be you. Like me, I am weird. And I don't care what other people say about me. I have my moments. Like, it's me. Um, this goes with number seven. Um, know your interests. So, like, if you're into, like, art and something do like editing tutorials or something on youtube that's gonna gain people attention saying like oh okay she like doing you know art but yeah <laughs> that's why i do a lot of editing videos or like if somebody need an editing video or tutorial i do not mind sharing just let me know i already have two editing videos so i'm gonna leave them down below so i can go check those out number eight is have confidence Have company, y'all. Do not listen to what other people say about you. Because if you listen to what other people say about you, they will really, like, hurt your feelings and they'll stop you from doing YouTube. And you do not want to stop doing YouTube. Like, if this is your passion, you like doing YouTube on the side, keep going. Just don't worry about what other people have said about you. Like, this social media thing is crazy. Like, I'm not even, like, famous or anything. And I know it's crazy because I be seeing it for myself. I'm like other platforms and stuff like that so yeah so you have to be very strong number nine about your thumbnails your thumbnails is what makes your youtube the video like if your thumbnail is not interesting me i'm not gonna watch it i'm not gonna want to watch your videos last but not least number 10 is being yourself be 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 yourself 
It's going to be haters every day. It's going to be jealous people every day. It's going to be people who dislike you, people who do like you. Just be yourself. They just me. You feel me? <laughs> but yeah, be yourself and be yours. That's what people love. But that's like me. That is what I love. Like if I'm watching your video and you're not being yourself, I'm not going to watch you. Like you being fake. Mm -mm. That's why I call you too. You. Be you. You. Be yourself. <laughs> y'all, I have to stop playing, y'all. I gotta get up tomorrow at 7 o'clock east. Okay, so I have to get up at 7 o'clock and it's 11.57. Y'all see? Y'all see how constant I am? Do y'all see? I get my last, y'all, man. I give y'all last my, I give y'all last, I give y'all my last, and y'all do me like that, man. Yeah, I got me up at 11 7 doing a 10 till YouTube start video. Come on, man. Look how constant I am with everything. Look how real I am with everything. Anyway, I have three wings right here weighing on me, so uh, I'm just gonna. In this video because <laughs> I am done for the night I have to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning go to school so yeah I love you all thank you all for watching if you want me to discuss anything else just leave it down below what you want to do okay this is what this video about be you if you ain't learned nothing today three things I want to say is be yourself stay humble be consistent this is my three types okay words from nah hey Anyways, I love you all. Thank you all for watching. Bye.